So I recently had a video request from one of you guys, Chicago Sirens. He wanted me to make a video on these Hoover convertibles and I threw this Eureka in as well just because it's kind of the same thing. At least if not, just very similar. And uh, I'm gonna make a video on these and then the next video will be on the two Oryx over there. So you wanted to see these things. Uh, I'm not extremely knowledgeable with vacuums, uh, at least as far as, you know, dating these things goes and, you know, what kind of different bags they take. I mean, I can figure all that stuff out on the internet, but I don't know the specifics of these. The basics that I do know, this one has a metal base and this one is definitely older than that one. That one, I believe, is somewhere around the late 80s, maybe early 90s. Not 100% sure. This one is somewhere around in the 70s. And this one is a 93 or 94. Can't remember. But this uh, Eureka Heavy Duty Commercial, which is pretty much the same thing as a Sanitaire, which is also very similar to these. This one is the younger brother, but more upgraded versions of these from everything that I can read and you know figure out about these um, and I'll show you guys go ahead and tip them over for you but both of these convertibles and I haven't really cleaned that one up yet but both of these were just in really dirty condition that one was the worst this one got cleaned up a good amount But I'll show you guys what I mean, how, uh, how similar these things are to each other. The Eureka skid plate is a little different, but the brush roll is pretty much the same dimension. These are really heavy duty brush rolls. You know, I'll say that much. Um, not so much this one. This one is, you know, all metal. But I, cu I couldn't believe how uh, heavy duty these are. Now again, I am very new to vacuums. I've always been the type of person that's, you know, if I needed one, I just went to Walmart, picked up a cheapo one, and, uh, and I was done with it. No one was the wiser. I did not realize how much of a difference there was with commercial vacuums, let alone these older vacuums from, you know, decades ago. I had no idea. And based on everything I've read and everything I could see, these three vacuums are by far leaps and bounds better than anything that you can buy in Walmart today. The new plastic ones just sell very well because they're lightweight and they're cheap. I don't know. Um, you know, a lot of people out there, myself included, at one time thought a vacuum is a vacuum. That's not really the truth, because uh, definitely it's the, the truth of the matter is not every vacuum is cr uh, created equal. But anyway, so all of these have gotten a good cleaning. Um, they have new belts installed, new bags. All three of them have new bags that I've put in. That one takes a type A. This one takes a type C, which was really hard to find. I had to order that on the internet. That one takes a Eureka type F and G. I think this was a type A. Let me see. Yep, type A. <clears throat> but, man, and the other thing that I've come to find out I didn't think that there was really much of a difference, and I thought, you know, the bagged technology and vacuums was just old school and bagless was better, but as I've come to realize more and more, these disposable bags are really the best way to go, especially if you have allergies. Really surprising to me. Like I said, I did not know really anything about vacuums until I started picking them up in the garbage, and that's where I've gotten all of these. All these vacuums in here, minus that one and two others, or minus that one and that one, are uh, trash picked for whatever reason. That one works fine, even though it looked terrible when I picked it up, but it works. So I'm going to go ahead and plug them all in, and I guess I'll do a demo for you guys. I mean, I'm used to doing this type of thing with lawnmowers, not vacuum cleaners. So I've got them all plugged in now. It's my power strip. I guess I can start with this Eureka. Brand new brush, brand new belt, brand new bag. I gave it a, uh, what I did clean was 
I had the hood off and you know all the way down to the motor and I cleaned pretty much the whole inside and uh, it was fairly dirty. The old bag uh, smelled like mildew and mold and oh man I was hoping that it and it didn't appear to but I was hoping at the time that it hadn't sat that it hadn't uh, saturated the outer bag and it didn't look like that it has so let's turn it on. <laughs> Definitely sucks itself to the carpet. Probably don't have it adjusted right. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys what it sounds like. I also replaced that light in it too. Show you guys this uh, 80s or 90s Hoover convertible. This one is in really good condition. The bag, everything. I didn't really have to clean this one all that much compared to that one. That one was in really dirty condition. So let's go ahead and turn it on. It's got a uh, plastic switch on it. By the way, this uh, rug that I have out here is one of the only two rugs in the whole house. The only other rug I have is a small throw rug in my bathroom. And uh, yeah, this thing was garbage picked. I only put it here to uh, soak up oil spots years ago. So let's turn this on. This one, like I was saying earlier, needed a really bad cleaning. Needed a really bad cleaning. And uh, kind of afraid right now, but I don't really know the best way to wash these outer bags. I'm pretty sure I don't want to stick it in the clothes washer uh, because it's, uh, I don't know, I just get the feeling that it would just rip it apart or something. But other than the bag being a little dirty, this thing is in pretty good condition. The handles uh, got some paint worn off of it. Um, but other than that, it's a pretty good runner. I don't know if that's the motor making noise or if it's supposed to sound like that, but it works. Like I said, I'm a little new to vacuum, so. But anyways, uh, you wanted to see what these were, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a video on them for you. They're uh, pretty good vacuums, and hopefully I can eventually sell them on to uh, somebody else that'll actually hit. Hopefully I can sell them on to somebody else who will actually end up using them in some form or fashion. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more.